Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own it already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 297. And today is our lesson number 196. At least on the page 297, problem number 12. It says, in a box full of 10 electrical parts, two are defective. So we have a box full of 10 parts, two are defective. The question simply is, what are the odds of choosing one that is not defective? Part A says, if you choose one part at random from the box, what is the probability that it is, it is not defective? So let's find out how many are not defective. There are, if there are two defective out of 10, there are two defective out of 10, which means there are eight, that are not defective, obviously. Therefore, the odds are not defective over the total. There are eight that are not defective out of a total of ten. That's it. Or four fifths, if you like, or eighty percent. That's it. Part Part A was very simple, very straightforward. Let's look at Part B. If you choose two parts at random from the box, so now we're choosing two parts at random from the box without replacement. So we pick one part, we find out whether or not it's defective, and once we ascertain that it is defective or not defective, we do not put it back in the box. It just stays outside the box, which is what it means by without replacement. If you were to do that, what are the odds that the two that you pick are both defective? What are the odds the two that we pick are both defective? So let's take a look at it. Part B. Choose two at random without replacement. What are the odds that both are defective? What are the odds that both are defective? This is defective, I'm just abbreviating it, DEF. What are the odds that they are both defective? But there are two ways you can go about it. One way is to actually use the formula, and if you've been watching my video in the past, you know that that's not what we do. I want you to understand the concept is very simple, very straightforward. Ask yourself, what are the odds of choosing a first defective part. Odds of odds of choosing. Odds of choosing first defective part. First defective part is that we have two defective part out of a total of ten. That is same as saying the question what are the odds of choosing a first defective part is the exact same question as the one we answered in part A which is what are the odds of choosing a defective part, one defective part. But that's two out of ten. Once we have chosen the defective part, once 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 we have chosen uh, Defective parts. What are the odds of choosing a second one? One has already been chosen. What are the odds of choosing a second one? Well, by the time you choose a second one, given the fact that you have already chosen the first one, which is defective, that that is what we are doing here. Once we have chosen a defective part on the first try. The odds of choosing a defective part on the second try is well, how many defective parts are left in the box at that point? At that point in the story, there is only one defective part left because we had only two to begin with, and we have chosen the first one in the first try. So once we have chosen the one, a defective part in the first try, there is only one left in the box. And how many to all together in the box? Well, there were ten to begin with. We chose one already, so there are nine left in the box. That's it. Therefore. 
therefore the art of choosing two defective parts is simply 2 over 10 times 1 over 10 the product of the two probability the product of the two probability which if you reduce it 2 divided by 5 is going to give you 2 divided by 10 is going to give you 5 so it's 9 times 5 is 45 the odds are 1 out of 45 the odds are 1 out of 45 that if you were to pick two bulbs from a box of 10 bulbs without replacement which contains two defective parts that will end up picking both of the defective parts at random I will say it one more time what we found is that the odds are 1 out of 45 the, the odds are 1 out of 45 that if you were to pick two parts at random from a box containing 10 parts of which two of them are defective that will end up picking those particular those those particular two the defective ones at random is 1 out of 45 it didn't come out very well did it the second time around 1 out of 45 that's it in other words if you were to try 45 different times there's only one time that you're likely that you'll end up picking both parts that are defective if you were to pick two at random without replacement now if you were replacing it in other words re replacing means this okay I'm going to explain to you so you take out a part from the box you register you make a note of it whether or not it's defective and then if you put it back in the box that's called with replacement now if you were to replace it then on the second try you will still have two more defective two more two you will still have two defective parts in the in the box because the one that you found defective on the first try you made a note of it and you put it back in the box in which case with replacement this is without replacement the odds of choosing two defective parts without replacement this is without replacement with replacement would look something like this what are the odds of picking up defective parts in the first try the odds of picking the defective parts in the first try is 2 out of 10 once you have chosen a part once you have chosen a part and you made a note of it whether or not it's defective you put it back in the box you replace it you put it back in the box how many defective parts are at this point in the story there are still two of them because you put it back and there are all still all together ten of them still because you know there are not nine there are ten of them because you put the one back in there that's what it means to be the, to the odds with replacement in which case the answer will switch from one out of 45 it will switch from one out of 45 to 4 out of 100 4 out of 100 1 out of 45 is approximately same as 1 out of 50 approximately 1 out of 50 let's put it this way here this is approximately equal to, approximately equal to not exactly obviously approximately equal to 1 out of 50 which is which is not approximately but which is exactly same as 1 out of 2 out of 100. In other, in other words, 1 out, of 40, 1 out of 45 is approximately equal to 2 out of 100. Now it's 4 out of 100. Your odds have doubled. Obviously your odds have doubled because you put it back. You put, put the damn thing back. So there are just as many, there are still two, two defective parts as, as they were uh, on the first try. That's, that's why your odds have doubled. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.